guys. So this is the remote control Mustang that I used in my San Francisco video where I filmed on the exact same uh, filming locations used in the movie Bullet, which starred uh, Steve McQueen as Lieutenant Bullet. And um, in the movie, Steve McQueen drives a 68 Mustang, it's all green. But the uh, car I drove in this video is actually modeled after the 67 Mustang used in the movie Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift by the, the main uh, character in that movie. But uh, yeah, I used the same exact filming locations in Bullet. Not all of them, but you know, some of them. Like the opening scene, that was actually Chalmers' place that you can see near the beginning of the movie. Chalmers is that guy who likes to boss Steve McQueen around. He's pretty annoying. Um, the second scene where my car is uh, reversing and then going down that one street. That was that one scene during the car chase where Steve McQueen actually understeers and misses his turn so he has to reverse and then go down that street. And that's, that street hasn't really changed that much <laughs> when I saw it. It was pretty cool seeing that. Um, the next scene where I was driving up the hill and then down the hill, that was that very iconic uh, part in the, the car chase where Steve McQueen is chasing the Charger up and then as they go down, they're, they're jumping down the hill. And in the background, you can see Alcatraz. That street also hasn't changed that much. And uh, the next scene after that is... Um, it's, it's that darker scene. I filmed that early morning. That's why it's so dark. That's where I'm going down. I'm curving down. And my car flips over. Um, my car actually lost its right tire. But I have a replacement tire, which I put on to the car I used in the video. So I'm happy about that. The uh, car did get scratched up a lot. But ironically... That same exact uh, place where I lost my tire, that's almost the same exact spot where the Charger in the movie loses its hubcaps. Yeah, in the movie, the, um, the Charger is going downhill being chased by a bullet, and as the Charger um, curves left, it runs into the, the wall, and it, it smacks into it and loses its hubcap. So that was pretty funny. And I never found my tire again. I even had some guy helping me look. We couldn't find it. And... Um, the uh, the last scene where I pick up my remote control car and walk upstairs, that is actually the same location where Bullet lived in the movie. He actually walks up those same stairs, and that's that's where he lives. So I like that aspect. It's very spiritual for me to, to see those uh, filming locations and climb up that giant hill. Very spiritual. Um, anyways, this car is a 116 scale, and then I, as I said, it is uh, merchandise for uh, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. So let me do some quick measurements here. So the car itself, from the bumper to the fender, it's uh, it's a little shy of 11 inches. A little shy. Now the uh, the width, let's go do that really quick. It's a little over four inches, almost four and a half inches, almost. Now the height, let's do that really quick. I would say it's just a little under four inches. Uh, the car itself takes six AA batteries. The transmitter remote takes one nine volt battery.